up guys thank you so much for being here it is like ridiculously hot out I think it's 97 degrees um, yeah like 97 or 98 that's why I'm hanging out in the shade but um, today I want to show you guys this really cool like nature center it's a free nature center right along the green belt so I just figured I'll show you guys because I've got the day off my wife's at work and I'm just hanging out but first I've got to get some lunch because I'm super hungry I'm always hungry all right guys I got some lunch now I just got to go find a place to eat it I get I don't know I just didn't want to spend too much <laughs> I'm kind of cheap right now anyways so yeah I just got a deluxe chicken sandwich oh, I'm so excited to bite into this super hungry mm. I say I didn't want to spend that much money but I ended up spending the money anyways because instead of getting a combo I stopped somewhere else and got this fancy drink first so hopefully it'll focus but anyways it's just some kind of like little chocolate latte thing so it's really chocolatey and it doesn't have dairy so I'm not really a dairy free person but I try to avoid it when I can just because I don't know it makes me all bloated and stuff but I love it so I still eat it on a weekly basis I just try and avoid it when I can. This is such a nice spot to just chill and bring some lunch and just relax. Nice view of the river. There's people floating down having a good time. That was me like a week ago. Actually not even a week ago, just like maybe four or five days ago. It was fun. Except I didn't really have the best floating device, so... Oh, I just saw a fish come up. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have floated this river before. It's the Boise River. It's something that we do out here. It's a lot of fun. It's not that chocolatey. I mean, it's not that sweet, but it's really chocolatey, if that makes any sense. I don't know, it's weird. It tastes a lot like, like a dark chocolate, but it's not that sweet. It's good. I don't know if it's worth the three something for this little bottle, but it's still good. All right, guys, enough hanging out. Let's go check out that nature center. All right, guys, we made it. It was just right across from where I was. So let's go check out this nature center. As you guys can see it's a pretty cool little place and it's free so I mean if you just need to kill some time or you're just bored out of your mind you don't know what to do you can just come over here it's right next to downtown Boise and you can just relax I don't know have some lunch here if you wanted to um, but they've got fish tanks with all kinds of local fish they've got like little signs throughout the place that tell you about different animals that are in Idaho and it's a cool place to just hang out learn about nature, or if you just want to come here and take like some cool pictures, kind of like I'm doing, it's a great place for that. I've only been here one other time before this. 
this. And I got really lucky because I saw like a little baby deer with little white spots and everything. So I'm hoping somehow maybe we'll get lucky and I'll find one. It's not like a petting zoo or anything. They don't just have animals like that other than these fish in the tanks. So I doubt we'll find one, but we'll see. But one thing I do want to show you guys is they've got a big old, well not big, but they've got a little pond that has some fish in it, trout and whatever else. Um, but they also have some big sturgeon in there, which are like these prehistoric fish. They're super cool. So I'm going to try and see if I can show you guys one. Check out this awesome place. I mean, there's so many cool little paths and bridges. Check this out. different areas here to just explore it's small but big at the same time it's like a nice little labyrinth of nature <laughs> I've never hunted but it seems like that's what it would be like just sitting in a box with like a rifle <laughs> well guys you can kind of see the fish in the water they're mostly rainbow trout. It's really dark though and I can't really get close enough to show you guys. I didn't get to see the sturgeon, but I saw it the first time I came here. Well, the only other time I've been here, I got to see the sturgeon, but I just couldn't find it this time in that pond. I guess that leaves something for you guys to discover on your own when you come check it out. I think I showed you guys what it was called. Yeah, it's called the, it's called the Morrison Nature Center. So if you live in Idaho or specifically in Boise and you want something free to do, like I said, it's a pretty cool thing to just come see and just hang out and kill some time. stuff is good ah I know I said I was trying to not spend money but it is too hot and I still have to wait for my wife to get off work because there's no point in driving home because at this point she gets off in like an hour and a half so if I drive home and then I come back to this area to get her it's just pointless so so I needed something to hold me over or else I'm just gonna like dehydrate. I got a pineapple coconut Italian soda. So it's basically just like soda with cream. It's hitting the spot right now. I've never been to that place. I think it's called Fizz Drinks or something. Anyways, it's pretty good. It's like seven o'clock and it's 97 degrees. That's why I needed this because I'm gonna be sitting here in the car for a while and I don't just want to run the AC. So, had to get something. Ugh. I wish it was bigger though. But oh well. 